Hello, everyone. This is your mindfulness practice. This is your daily mindfulness practice. I am Elena from Vancouver, Canada, and I'm going to use for your mindfulness practice Canadian cards. These are psychology cards, revelation cards, non-religious. Here is a safe place for you to come during your relaxation time every day and have a mindfulness time when you are especially aware what's going on within you and and also what's going on outside of you. This is an excellent practice. And I assure you, if you give it a try at least one month, you will see positive changes in your life. Please leave a comment because this is like for sure, for sure you will see positive changes coming to your life. What is mindfulness? It is be aware, be present, be consciously aware of every breath, of every movement, of your soul, your body, your breath. This gives you more to life, more awareness to life. You and me live in this wonderful time when we understand cosmic movements a little more because we've got uh, some evidence from outside the our galaxy so we understand that you and me now in life this is a very lucky so to speak coincident of course nothing is just comes from nothing you are really lucky to be materialized to um, come to this life to this planet uh, which is absolutely gorgeous and live without being present in every moment, it's robbing yourself from life's pleasure. This is why I hold this space open for you, for your mindfulness practice. This mindfulness practice can help you to uh, get in habit, to be more aware of each moment. Maybe you don't know me, I'm pretty well known um, astrologist and homeopath and tarot reader and just a person of, of Russian speaking communities all over the world. Maybe during this video, maybe uh, some people who come who Russian speaking, who English speaking, I welcome everyone. So this is all Canadian deck of uh, revelations and it consists of two uh, sections. One section is bigger these golden cards and another section is uh, goes inside of this uh, big card this way you get revelation about what's going on with you right now what is luck coming your way or what is there that you don't see what is it there that you can bring more awareness to your life because there are some blind spots in everyone's life. Idea of awareness is uh, just seeing all your life, put spotlight on every area on your life and ability to see what is not visible up till today. Because today you're going to have a revelation. What is there for you that you don't see right now? What is there that you want to bring to your awareness? What is there in your life that you want to be mindful about? I'm, I'm going to take two cards. So two ideas for you. Card number one says firm, be firm about something. And card number two says compulsion. So now you see empty square inside. First of all, before we pick up from this deck of small cards that go inside, I invite you, if you wish, uh, to, to contemplate or maybe to ponder 
over some ideas of firmness. What is firm? What does it mean to be firm for you? Maybe someone is too firm with you. Maybe your parent was too firm when you were small. And you uh, don't know the opposite of firmness. That is softness. That is openness. That is inviting life to happen. Maybe you are too firm about some decisions. And there could be some good decisions you are firm about. You are firm not to... Uh, go and do work that doesn't pay um, fairly. Maybe you want to be firm about someone who's abusing you in relationship or in friendship. Maybe you are firm not to pay that high price to something, you know, and find out how you can um, afford something. Maybe you are firm to say no to um, substances that might hold you captured such substance like um, a drink or um, sugary um, processed food diet. Maybe you are firm to promise yourself to walk around your block at least once a day. Maybe you are firm just to relax more. Maybe you are firm not to answer any, any, every... Uh, <laughs> cars fell, I, I get, caught them on time. Maybe you are firm in something that you don't know. This firmness could be positive and negative. Negative firmness is when our mind is um, too firm about some ideas. So if, if we are too firm, we don't see the opportunity because our firm belief or firm ideas prevent us uh, from seeing whole picture. This is a negative firmness. Maybe you are firm about, about uh, how you see the world in a positive or negative way. And we have to understand that everything is flexible. The, the universe is always breathing, is changing all the time. There's dark matter and dark energy. There is a gravitation of stars. And it all, all works with synastry. Uh, so... Um, what is firm and what revelation you will find, these cards will tell you. And also, I might invite you, if you wish, to ponder about what is compulsion in your life. What is compulsion? What are you compulsive about? Compulsive of uh, denying something or compulsive about wanting something that is, was not possible till today. Maybe we just give up that compulsion. Compulsion is a negative emotion most of the time. You can be compulsive going to gym every day, and it's a good compulsion. Although uh, maybe some people will tell you that it's not a good compulsion. But I'll tell you, to better to be compulsive about going to the gym than to be compulsive over uh, a glass of something. You know what I mean? Um, YouTube doesn't allow you to say those things, but, you know, or negative thoughts or a negative relationship. Anyways, compulsion is mostly, mostly always is a bad thing. However, to be compulsive about wanting to stay in life, maybe it's a good compulsion. I don't know. Uh, for all of us, it, it is different um, feeling. So tell me in the, in the comments what compulsion is for you and tell me in, in the comments what firmness is for you. This way we interact with you. But I am going to pick up now the revelation card that will take, um, take you to a new dimensions. So what is a um, word firmness mean to you right now? And this card has no word. This is a metaphor, just a symbolic idea without word. Everyone understand this uh, without uh, being attached to any language. So firm about this. You are firm about this. Looks like sun to me. What does it look like to you? Blue sky, sun, good weather. <laughs> 
where are you from? If you are from Vancouver or Sweden, or I don't know where you're from, probably sun does not come out that often. Or maybe you are uh, lucky to live in Spain <laughs> or Greece where sun comes out pretty often. So this is just ideal picture. Green past tree, uh, blue sky and yellow sun. So are you firm about that any weather is good weather? It could me be mental weather, emotional weather of, of your universe, your meta galaxy inside of you. I am for this sort of meta galaxy, but I am against Zuc Zuckerberg meta galaxy. I am against him wanting us to uh, wanting us to keep captured in his sort of galaxy. Every one of us has own sort of galaxy, and I wish you have this good weather in your galaxy all the time. Um, I will give you my ideas, and I invite you to give your ideas in comments. Good weather in your own galaxy, in your own meta means material galaxy. Good weather means you believe in yourself. Good weather you consciously want, want to be uh, in good moon, mood. You constantly want to bring good mood to your life. You constantly make decision and con conscious decision to be happy. And to be happy it doesn't cost any money. It doesn't cost any money. And it doesn't need, we don't need help from outside world to be happy. It's just a feeling. It's, it is just a feeling of good weather <laughs> where you can really um, have your uh, light clothes on, can, where can you have light heart and run those fields. I remember myself, one of the happiest moments of my childhood was running those uh, hills. Although life wasn't easy at home, I was heavily abused at home. And probably you will hear about it in other videos. I, I did not feel safe at home because I was target. I was um, something that someone who was really unhappy. And I'm thinking of me six years old running those fields. And that, that is when I remember I was happy. So this is like a, touching the time in your life where you were very happy and draw from that constant, instant, and abundant energy. This energy never stops and it's like a fountain of life. Maybe one happy moment from your childhood, youth years, or maybe you, you're in love with someone, or maybe you found uh, the, something that you can do in your profession. Uh, where, when and where you were happy like that. Draw from their instant energy. Draw from their life, life force, vitality, your own vitality. Be firm about it. Be firm about attaching, attaching your life to something positive. This card is reassurance to me, but I'm not sure what is about you. What does it mean to you? And this is a mindfulness practice, so I will find out uh, when you leave comments, please. What does this mean to you? Climate atmospheric card. It's card of contentment, I think. Content, be firm about life contentment. This is what it is. Let's uh, look into this uh, idea, this spread. So compulsion, maybe there is some com compulsion in your life that, that holds you from here, from, from uh, happiness. Let's figure out what is compulsion in your life. I'm going to take one card that goes in the square. This is what holds you from this. Compulsion about something that might look like this for you. What do you see? What is the contrast? What is the difference? Wow, such a difference. This is outside. 
beautiful planet, beautiful you, lucky and happy. There's no life in this card. Although there is another person, there's no people here. Just elements. But here we see you, maybe, or not you, maybe other figures in your life. Maybe these are parents or children or anyone in your life. Maybe one of the figures is you, another figure is someone else. Who are those figures? Tell me in comments. Uh, this uh, with uh, red and blue, is it you? Or dark clothes with darker red and totally darker uh, trousers, is it you? So why these people are dressed differently? Who are those people in your life that brings you compulsion? Who are these people? Why this person has brighter colors and these duller colors? Where is the window? Where is outside world? Where is this? Is it a mirror or is it the window? Why those uh, walls are gray? I'm asking you a question and invite you to think. I'm not putting any suggestions into your mind because it's your own mindfulness practice. You decide. It's a healing, therapeutical idea. Why these two walls are gray? Why, why this wall is uh, dark red or maybe brown or bright brown? What is this? Is it a window or is it a mirror? And why the floor is um, doesn't look like real floor, maybe it's a carpet, but this floor is blank. In, in my idea, is blank. It has no color. It has no, um, no hope, I would say. Here is no hope. You stare at the wall, obstacle, obstruction, something that prevents you from going here, something that prevents you from going outside to the better, healthier, happier you. What is preventing you? What is this wall? What is behind that wall? Maybe this is what behind this wall, but you don't know how to get there. We don't know. You do not know how to get there. Maybe this is an opening to this world. Maybe this is an open window, but you don't see it because you stare at the wall that is as blank as your road, but darker. So your road is brighter than the than whatever is it is in front of you. Whatever is in front of you is dark color. Is is a is gray. Is it a gray territory? Is it a childhood abuse? Is it a abuse at workplace? Is it your partner who is stopping you from from? Uh, living your dream life? Who is this that gives you compulsion? Who is this who gaslighting you? Who is this the other person that is staring with you in that blank wall? Is it your mind that prevents you to see through or turn to the right and see outside world? Is it their mind? that dictates you what to do, compulsive ideas, compulsive ideas. What is this? This is definitely not a happy moment of your life. Be mindful of that moment as well. Let it, let it be healed. Let this moment of your life be healed. This is what I leave you with for now. And you're welcome to come every day. Let it be your meditation, everyday meditation. Come to my channel just for revelation, for relaxation time. I invite you to be your own therapist with my help. And I know that you will find out what is compulsion and you will replace the compulsive habit with this flexible, wonderful world that is around us. If we only have eyes to see it. Love you very much. Wish you happiness. Bye for now.